Good afternoon, classmates and Mr. Sungkad. Me and my pair, Bailon, will report about the laboratory activity calibration of calibration of platform wing scale. There are three objectives of this activity. First, to calibrate the platform wing scale. Second, to determine the leverage and lastly, to determine the sensitiveness of the wing scale. Equipment and instruments needed for this laboratory experiment. First, we need a mechanical platform weighing scale. A weighing scale device is used to measure the mass, force, exertion, tension, and resistance of an object without the need of a power supply. Second, we need is six pieces of 15 kilograms standard weight, which are predominantly needed for the performance test and routine testing of the balance and scales. Next, Next, we need is the counterweight. Counterweights, counterweights are, used are used to counterbalance, counterbalance an opposing mass in a linear or rotary motion system, allowing movement, movement with lower drive forces. And lastly, we need a screwdriver. The use of this is to adjust the bolts when calibrating the platform scale. Principles involved. First is the mass. Mass is the absolute amount of matter in a definite space. The unit, the unit is, is in SI is KJ, KJ kilogram. Weight, weight on the other hand, hand is a force, force of gravity, gravity acting on the body, body which may be determined by, by some comparative devices, devices weighing scale like, like platform. platform. Next, Next is the Newton's, Newton's law. law. Newton's, Newton's second, second law says, says when a constant, constant force acts, acts on a massive, massive body, body, it causes, causes it to accelerate. accelerate. Example. They change to, to change its velocity at a constant rate. The force of gravity is related to the mass of the formula. F equals mass times gravitational constant. And next is the weighing. Weighing, weighing is a primary method of measuring forces and volumetric devices are calibrated initially. Scale. Initially. Scales have been constructed to weigh a million pounds or more. While on the chemical balance, balance at the opposite extreme, we will easily weigh a million per pound. pound. Next, Next is the standard, standard weight. weight. In, in metallurgical, metallurgical terminology, terminology, a distinction is made between reference weight or mass standard and certified weight. weight. The conventional weight value is used as a nominal value of a weight, weight for a higher level, level of accuracy. Certified, certified weights are calibrated and traceable back to the primary standard which are usually national standards maintained by National Metallurgy Institute. The weights used are stainless steel weights because it is a long-term stability. Next is the platform weight scale. Platform scales are largely industrial platforms used for weighing containers and other heavy goods. Calibrating platform scales can be tricky without prior experience, and operations need to be comfortable connecting the indicators. Navigating in the face and choosing appropriate calibration weights for your scale weight. All weight scales and balance calibrations are performed in environmentally controlled laboratories. Both temperatures and humidity are closely monitored to 68 Fahrenheit with a relative humidity not exceed to 40%. To give the lowest degree of measurement, preparation of the precision measurement test equipment is just as important as the calibration. Next, Next is the, the calibrating, calibrating calibration of platform, platform scales. scales. In calibrating, In calibrating platform, platform scales, a large, large weight, weight W is placed in the platform, platform to be balanced by a small weight of the B and B. And the points are, are if weight, weight P alone, alone balances, balances the weight, weight W, w then it follows according, according to the law of moments. Good evening. Everyone and good evening, sir. Uh, the procedure is for the test for accuracy. Uh, first is start by setting the scale to zero, reading and setting the beam between its lower and upper stops by making screws adjustment uh, screw adjustments. Second is with an initial 15 kilogram standard weight placed on the corner of the platform, adjust the movable poise so that the beam is centered and obtained the reading after transfer after that 
transfer the load to one of the corners of the platform and adjust the poise again if necessary to obtain the new reading. Uh, procedure number four. Then move the load to the next corner of the platform and adjust the poise to obtain another reading. For the last two corners of the platform, repeat the above steps in obtaining their corresponding weights. For trial to load 15 kg standard weights on the platform. Then, repeat the above procedures for the succeeding trials by increasing the load of 15 kg increment. Then, calculate the average reading for each trial and determine the percent difference. And, this is the data gathered by the experiment we've cited, or we've got. Um, the first column is for the trials, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the second column is platform load, which had the 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90 kilogram weights. Um, the third column is the beam readings. The beam readings has corner, five corners, which is corner 1, corner 2, corner 3, and corner 4. The fifth corner is the center. Corner 1 has the first reading of 15.2, same as second corner. Then corner 3 and corner 4 are, and the center has 15 reading. And to calculate the average, average difference and percent difference, we must use the calculations. Next slide. Um, to calculate the average, um, corners 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 should be uh, added and divided by 5, which gives you 15.08 kg. And the percent error can be solved using through these uh, calculations AV minus average over AV. AV is the standard weight used in the experiment then the average is 15.08 over 15 times 100 and you will get 0 0.53 percent next slide and the next um, test is for the sensitivity test and these are the procedures adjust the movable uh, first is adjust the movable poise slowly and stop as soon as the beam is centered. Then obtain the initial reading. Then second step is adjust the poise again to the left slowly and stop as soon as the beam touches the upper stops. Then obtain the re new reading. Third is balance the beam again by moving the poise to its initial position as of step number two. And step number four. Move the poise to the right and stop as soon as the beam touches the lower stops. Obtain the new reading after that. Then, fifth procedure is to, for the succeeding trials, add the load by 15 kg increment and repeat ab the above procedures for the rest of the trials. Next. Uh, this table is the results from the sensitivity sensitivity test uh, first column as trials second column has the standard weights used and the third column is the upper stops then the fourth is the lower stops and the upper stops uh, in each initial reading has 15 then the final reading is 14.4 and in lower stops, initial re reading is 15. Then the final reading is 15.6. And so on for the next trials. And to calculate the average difference, uh, the uh, difference of the upper stops and lower stops, you should do these calculations, which is initial reading minus final reading. Uh, fif uh, 15 in here is the the reading on the first initial reading on the upper subs then the 14.4 the final reading and you will get 0 0.6 kilogram 
then do the same for the lower stops uh, 15 minus 15.6 is equals to negative 6 point out uh, negative 0 0.6 I know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 0 0.6. Yeah. And for the next one is the leverage ratio. Uh, first step is to set the scale to a zero reading. Then load the 90 kilogram on a platform balance. Then after, add the counterweight and adjust the movable, movable poise until the beam is in midway the two stops. And then get the reading. Then fourth step is remove the 90 kilogram load on the platform and measure the counterweights used in step three. Then fifth step, divide the measured weight by the load to obtain the leverage ratio. And to obtain the leverage ratio, uh, next one. Uh, these are the uh, first is these are the results from the leverage ratio. Uh, fifth the counterweights use 50, 100, 100, 200. And the reading is 0 0.6, 1, 1 1.2, and 2. And for the LR, you should do these calculations. Uh, reading over counterweight, uh, P over W, which means 0 0.6 over 50. And you will get 0 0.012. That is all. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir, sir, and classmate, for, for listening. listening.